Key. Right, because the IV will be lower on these expirations. Um, and then you want those puts like at or in the money. And these will these will capture the downside the best, but they'll still they're still gonna lose IV to some degree. Wait, I need to buy calls before the peak? <laughs> I think the problem is people finally started to get comfortable playing OPEX, only for it to stop happening. I mean, it's still happening, but it's happening at a much lesser degree, right? Like, May, May OPEX ran 70%. Then June ran 20, then July ran what? Uh, hold on. So May, we went from there to there. So that was 70%. Then June 17th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th. Well, June started running on the 17th, right? So 17th to... So that ran 19%. Technically, the peak was on Friday, though, which was at 21%. But if you'd gotten out on, you know, Tuesday, it was at 19%. And then July ran 19.38% as well, right? So they all, they all fucking ran, every last one of them. It's not a lot, but it's still something. And then, and you know, even like like Fab ETF FTDs ran up. You know, Mar August ETF FTDs ran up pretty hard just now, like last week. This one up thirty percent. Um, January went. You know, if you bought the low, which was hard to do, but even if you didn't, you know, it went up twenty percent. If you bought the low, like on the actual dip in January, you would have gotten thirty eight percent. But still twenty if you missed if you missed the that big leg down right before they covered. Um so you know all and, and then March obviously was fucking insane, right? Like March was like a hundred and eighty, hundred and fifty percent more. Hundred and fifty six percent. So they've all run, right? If you if you buy calls when the price is cheap and then sell them when the price goes up you make money it's i know it's fucking crazy right but it happens oh and august uh etf ftds were 18 percent, and then then you're doubling up on it too because you're buying the calls and you're selling cover calls at the top so, you, so you're, you're you're milking both sides of it you know so even though they're smaller you're you're better understanding of these cycles now should allow you to capitalize on them twice then it also if you play the puts well you know you can make money off that too and you can sell csps before it launches. you can buy calls while selling csps you sell csps use the credit to buy calls at the top you sell the fucking calls sell cash secure puts or uh cash uh covered calls use the credit to buy puts write it fucking back down and do it again Ding ding. Theoretically, you could just never stop making money on it, right? So that's why we trade meme stocks and why we watch them. Because <laughs> the, the, they're fucking money generators. I probably could if I tried hard enough, Tanximus. Yeah, super boring day. I, you know, I'd want to do an end of day wrap up, but OPEX isn't over till tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to continue to hold my positions until then. If I don't see any price action by tomorrow near close, I'll sell out of them and probably sell covered calls and then just wait till we hit the next ETF FTD period, which will be at the beginning of September. GME ripping? I don't know about that. It hit $34, though.
the sphere. <laughs> Your morning DD was perfect for today. I'm aware. Yeah, you know, there was there was no information that anyone wanted or cared about. Yeah, it has to give, and 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 we know that they have, you know, a hundred different routes to deferring their obligations, right? So so all you can do is buy exp like ultimately the best way to handle it is to just give yourself exposure. And if it runs, you make a shitload of money. Awesome. If it doesn't, you lose a little bit of money. And that's it, right? That's simple enough. And and most of that money lost can be recouped with covered calls very, very quickly. And then you're ready for the next one. And when one hits, you know, and you make a thousand percent, take your profits and, and fucking, you know, now you have more money and you just keep doing that. <laughs> how far will you sell cc's out if it doesn't run tomorrow 14 days ooh All right, I'm okay with that. It can run in after hours if it wants to. Cool. <laughs> Seven volume. <laughs> I'm all right with that. And yeah, maybe they've decided against that now that they ran it up $3 on seven volume. All right, guys, I will see you bright and early tomorrow morning. Have a great night, everyone.